This video is just a quick demonstration of script recording in 3D Coat. It can be useful when you want to save your history of creating primitives in the retopple room. It is stored to a separate file in order to replay it later and continue your work in the scene. Using the script, you can also adjust the parameters of the primitives without lengthy undo procedures and losing work along the way. Afterward, you can run this script to build primitives with different parameters. To begin, we will go to the Scripts menu and choose Start Recording Script. Let's now create a cube primitive and insert it into the scene by hitting the Enter key or the Apply button in the Tool Options panel. Next, we will create a sphere primitive and apply it on top of the cube. I will adjust the radius in the Tool Options panel and click on the top of the cube to snap the sphere to that location. I'll make a few additional tweaks with the gizmo and also in the Tool Options panel and then I will hit the Apply button or Enter key. Now let's create a cylinder and click the top of the cube to place it there. Once I'm happy with my tweaks, I can also hit the Apply button to insert that into the scene as well. Now let's add a cone in the same manner. I'll click to place it on top, then adjust the height with the gizmo, and hit the Apply button. Let's now place the spiral primitive along the side of the cube. I'll click to place and adjust the division number. I'll create another instance, but I first need to remember to hit the Apply button to commit it to the scene before moving on to another primitive. Once we are done generating new primitives, we can go to the Scripts menu and click Stop Recording Script. A script file has been created and now located in a scripts directory. Once that is done, we can test this script file by going to the scripts menu and clicking Run Script, then Open. We can now observe the script successfully repeat all the steps we previously made. That's good, but what if we wanted to tweak just a few parameters and that's all? We can do that by opening the script with an editor and modifying the parameters within the script itself. As you can see, all the steps are listed in the same order that we created them manually. We will now browse through the script and make a few modifications along the way. Then we will run the script once again to observe the changes. We will now save and close the script file. Now let's go to the scripts menu, click Run Script, select the file and click Open, and see it run it back while observing the results of the changes that we've made. And with that, we will conclude this quick demonstration of the script functionality using the Primitives tool in the Retopo workspace. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.